Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at some of the tactical implications of uh, the new modifications to the radar that we saw in command. Now uh, the situation I've set up here is kind of to demonstrate it. Uh, we saw in a video last week where we could kind of see just how tricky it is to deal with this uh, new phase of the ray radar shenanigans. But I immediately set to work in trying to develop some kind of tactics that would enable me to kind of nullify the effect. Now the neat thing with the phase the ray changes, again, as you get further away from the center, you basically lose sensitivity. It's actually you lose gain. It's a little more complicated than that. But what eventually what happened is um, if you have an, a radar that has a 360 degree circle looking around it, um, you don't have any of these problems because they're essentially covering each other's nodes. If you have an aircraft like yeah, this one here, the Sukhoi 57, you run into a problem where, surprise, um, our radar only points in one direction, which means we're really, really in a bad place as far as trying to detect enemy aircraft goes. So let's go ahead and see just how bad this is. So I have three enemy aircraft. I have um, a P-52H, I have an F-16CM, and I have an F-35. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the uh, Sukhoi 57 uh, basically fly through this gauntlet of uh, strange planes and see if we're able to detect any of them. So we immediately enter into proper range here. There's our F-16 buddy and there's our B-52 off my left here. I expect to see the B-52. There he is. The F-16 though, completely invisible, completely invisible, completely invisible, completely invisible, and completely invisible. And the F-16 would have no problem now coming around and basically sniping that guy. No problem. All right, so we did pick up the F-35, which is what I expected. The F-35 does have a very, very, very good radar on it. Uh, but then the stealth capabilities are pretty good too, but at the end of the day, this is a pretty solid radar too. Notice we completely missed the F-16, which could easily have snuck up on us and blasted us here. Keep in mind, this particular aircraft doesn't have a lot of the crazy stuff the F-35 has. So that's the problem. So I immediately set to work going, okay, what kind of tactics are you going to have to apply in order to make this possible to defeat this particular situation? So I explored, I explored, I tried, I tried, and basically identified one quick an easy way to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a series of reference points and you're going to see exactly what I'm doing pretty much before I'm even done doing it. And this is kind of like I said, my initial tactic that I came up with. I need to play with it some more, but it's not too, too bad. So what I've done is I've set up this little weird zigzag zag pattern. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a mission. We'll do AAW, we'll do patrol. Uh, AAW patrol looks good to me. We're going to add this guy even though he's not appropriate for that. So I'm not going to worry about it too much. And then I'm going to change my movement style to repeatable loop. You see what I did there? So what I've essentially done is I've created a way to clear the baffles of the airplane. And the interesting thing is you don't really have to be super aggressive with these left, right. You can actually keep them pretty much on the same course you were originally, but this strategy works pretty well. So I'm gonna delete the original one. I'm gonna go ahead and unpause and let's see what happens this time. So we're gonna cruise around. Uh, we're gonna come up to my uh, first white point here. Keep in mind, we have a B-52 over here. We have an F-16 over there that would have uh, blasted us no problem. So this guy's immediately going to hit this point. He's going to do this little zigzag. He's going to come cutting across this way. He's going to start looking in the general direction of our B-52 friend. I'll speed up time. There's a B-52, and unfortunately, he immediately chases after him. So I'm going to scoop him up, put him back where he belongs. I'm going to go ahead, take that lovely B-52. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know, knock it out of existence here so we don't have to deal with it. Perfect. All right, problem solved. We go back on our patrol route here. So now we're going to go ahead and clear the baffle in the other direction. So we come, whoop. Oh, there's our F-16 friend. And you thought you were able to hide from us. We've got you now. Oh, it's an F-16. What do we do? What do we do? We delete it so he can go worry about something else. So now he's going to go ahead and spin back around and just kind of continue back in his operation. He's heading for our waypoint 7. Now remember, we still have that little big screen kind of opened up to us that would enable us. And look, there's our F-35 front. So you can see by making a quick little adjustment to my pattern, remember in the old days it was just a straight line, we can now actually prevent ourselves from running into a baffle situation. Now the cool thing, like I said, is there's nothing in the universe stopping you from doing something like this either, where it's a quick zigzag back and forth prior to going ahead and uh, doing anything that you need to do in the other direction. But as you can see very clearly, not a big change, but it actually has a pretty big effect as far as employing these kind of aircraft with these kinds of radars. Enjoy.